Welcome to WP Living. I am so pumped for this video because I'm going to show you in the next 15 minutes how to set up a free domain name, set up a free hosting package and install WordPress and have an entirely independent website of your own that you can do whatever you like with. Isn't that cool? I'm going to break this tutorial into three parts. If you follow the three steps, you should be up and running by the end of the video. So let's get to it. As you can see, I'm on the front page of a website called freenom.com. These guys are awesome because what they do is they, their mission, let's read the blurb, their mission is to bring people online and help countries develop their digital economies. They offer free domain names and you can use them just like any other domain, okay? To set up a website, a blog, an email account or whatever you want. And if you look at the small print, this is in fact entirely free. There are no strings attached. I've checked this out. Uh, no BS. Basically, you can register the domain for a period of between 1 to 12 months. And then when you reach the end of that period, you can then renew it. The restriction is, as you can imagine, there is a restriction. You are limited to these top level domain names, .tk, .ml, .ga, .cf. So I'm going to register a domain name. I'm going to go to services and register a new domain. And this will take us to a domain search box on freenom.com. And here we can check availability for a domain name. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to create a personal website for myself, uh, Will Ellington. Let's check the availability. And as you can see, those free domain names are all available. Uh, so I can get TKMLGACFGQ. And then as you can see underneath, the mainstream domain names are paid and priced. I'm going to go with .ga, willellington.ga. Let's go with that. Get it now. Okay. Cool. So that's selected. That's available. I'm going to go to the checkout. And there it is, willellington.ga.ga. And here you can see the period, three months uh, free. Or if you go down and select 12 months free, that's the maximum you can get. And as I said before, you can renew this at the end of the 12 months. Let's just select that and continue. Okay, the price is zero dollars. And then you simply enter your email address. So I'm going to enter my email, which is wpliving at gmail.com. You're going to verify that email address. So they've just sent me an email. Let me go to my email account. There it is, Freenom. Let's open that email and then click the link. Okay, very cool. They've validated my email. Next step is to set up the details for your domain name. Domain name. So be careful here what you put in. Uh, you're gonna, this, this information will be, become public facing. So if someone, if someone searches your domain name, they can retrieve this data. So you might want to think about privacy issues here. So, and when you've completed it, you should see this screen order confirmation with an order number and they generate an email to your uh, mail account. From here, you can go to your client area. So let's click this button. There you can log in with your new details. and you can access your account. And if you go to services, you can see my domain, select that. And here's the domain name I have registered with them, willellington.ga. And you can see the registration date and the expiry date, status active, type free. And you can also manage the domain. Now we're gonna need this, need to do this in a minute. We're gonna actually manage, go to management tools and then name servers and we're going to use custom name servers. We're going to enter here some information. That's very important to connect this domain name to the hosting account. So let's go to step two and set up the hosting account. Okay. So uh, I'm using Byet Internet Services for free web hosting. It's a free hosting plan, the same as the domain name, entirely free. There's no limitation here. There are limitations, of course, in terms of resources, as you can imagine. But basically, you get a fairly decent sized account. You have unlimited disk space. You have FTP access, a control panel, MySQL databases, which is essential for running WordPress. 
free tech support. You can use add-on domains, which is crucial because that allows us to connect our domain name that we've just made to this hosting package. And no ads, that's another big point. They don't put ads on your website. That's really crucial to having a clean, professional website, okay? And here below, you can see some of the more detailed information about the package. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a free hosting account. So, let's go to free hosting plans. Uh, sorry, sign up for free hosting. Uh, add a subdomain, um, just the title of whatever your website will be, your domain name will be. So I'm going to put again my name. Uh, I'm going to enter a password. I'm going to put in my email address. Site category, personal, let's call it business. English language, and then let's put in the security code and register. Okay, an account, an activation email has been sent to my email address. Go check that out. Let's go see if we've received the email. Uh, that's from Freenom. That's a registration email. I'm going to again check my spam folder. Ah, here it is. It went to the spam folder, so it's not spam. So be careful in case the hosting email goes to your spam folder. Go check that first. Okay, let's click the link below to activate the account. Uh, please wait while your account is created. Okay, so that took a couple of minutes to complete, and at the end you should see this screen, zero dollar bill, and then the account details. It's worth copying all the details and pasting them into a note file and then saving that to your desktop for future reference because that information is going to be necessary to access the account. I'm going to leave that aside for now. All right, great. So we've got a hosting account. Now, let's go and configure some stuff. So we're going to first of all go to the control panel, which is called cPanel. So click here. And you're going to need your username, which you've just set up. And you can see here, control panel username. So this is mine. And then password is the one you entered earlier, so go ahead and put that in. And now you see the control panel for your hosting account. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the domain name we created earlier. And we're going to go down to uh, add-on domains. Can you see the section here, domains, add-on domains, click on here. Now we've got to do one job first. Can you see here this note? You must set your dom domain name servers to the following before adding your domain here. So let's do that right now. So let's copy all these and let's go back to our domain name uh, account. And do you remember we clicked on management tools, name servers. And here you can see that we, we selected use custom name servers, okay? And here you're going to enter those name servers, one per line. So it should go in sequence. Um, basically, it's one, two, three, four, five. And we can just change the numbers each time, three, four, five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then change name servers. Okay, the name servers have been changed successfully. So we've done that step. Let's go back to our account, our cPanel. And now let's add the new domain and see if it works. If we get an error, it may be because it's too early to do this. In that case, just wait a while and then come back and do this again. So let's see. So it's willellington.ga. Let's see if we can add the domain name. Uh, yes, great, congratulations, you've added your new domain. So this is step three, WordPress. Let's go to the bottom. Let's use this one, Soft Aculus Apps Installer. This is going to be very simple. This will allow us to automatically set up WordPress on our new domain. And you can see you, you have a number of options for different types of software, but I'm going to set up WordPress install. 
Okay, now we have to select some options here on the installation. Choose protocol. Let's choose HTTP www. Let's have the full web address protocol. I recommend that. Choose the domain name. That's not the... This is the one I've just entered, willellington.gov. Um, delete this and put it to zero, nothing here. Then give it a name. So I'm going to call it Will Ellington Blog. Uh, give it, you give your site a description, my personal blog. If you want to have a multi-site for WordPress, you can click this option. I'm not going to. I'm having a single basic installation. Enter a password, whatever you want. Enter an email address. I'm going to use my Gmail address. Select a language. Okay, that's it. And then install. And you can see it's loading now. Okay, congratulations, the software has been installed successfully. Brilliant. So now we can exit this script. We don't need this anymore. Get rid of that screen. Go back to our control panel. Now, let's see if our domain name and our hosting package have connected. And let's see if we can actually access the website. WillEllington.gar. Is it too early for that? It looks promising. Ah, voila, it's worked. Brilliant. So this is the basic default WordPress theme. You can see the title of my site, what I ended earlier, the first WordPress post, and then some widgets here. Wicked, it really worked. And then uh, you can see my domain name at the top, willellington.gar. If we delete that query after and put in WP admin, we'll be able to access the WordPress admin panel. There it is. Add your details that you just registered when you installed WordPress. Make a note of those, by the way. And this is the WordPress dashboard. And from here, we can start to customize our website. You can do whatever you want with it now, within the limits of reason. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you liked this. If you did, please thumbs this video up. Share the love. Let other people know about this. And yeah, rock on, baby. Let's do this. Bye-bye.